Hey guys, welcome to the program. This is the first episode of Armageddon Records Media. You may know me, Andrew Robinson, aka President Zen One, from my music on ReverbNation.com slash President Zen One, or my podcast, Black Helicopter News. Um, these are all going to have those links in the description below. But now for the YouTube, I want to be tapping the YouTube audience. So I'm going to be doing reviews on books, movies, video games, and much more. Vlogs, everything. All under the banner of Armageddon, Re Armageddon Records Media. And this is episode one. So, today, um, today I want to just jump into things. I'm reviewing The Shallows. Alright, the movie, it's in theaters now. So, The, Sha the Shallows is directed by Jaume Colette Serra. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name. But, there you go. Moving on. I saw this in AMC Theaters in Eaton Town, New Jersey, at a matinee. Love the seats there. Leather, comfy, reclining, comfortable, climate control, beautiful. Uh, kudos to them. So, it stars pretty much just Blake Lively, a shark, and a seagull. Some other people too, but not much. So, she plays the protagonist and is basically a surfer and she's a medical student also she's she's got a little emotional backstory why she's going to this secret beach in another country it's in Mexico I believe um, so what happens is she's she's getting some alone time and she's going to I don't want to spoil it really so she's going to a secret beach that has meaning to her and um, well while catching some waves she becomes stranded on a rock about 200 meters from, from, from shore. Um, and this massive shark starts stalking her. This is an amazing CGI shark. It's realistic. It doesn't look like schlock. Um, the shark, though, total cocksucker, mean. Sharks, man. I know it's shark week, but man, fuck sharks. Um, so, like I said, I'm not going to give any... Spoilers, but I want to say this is a great shark movie, great summer movie. Um, and like I said, during Shark Week. And it's up there with Jaws. Uh, it's a thriller, edge of your seat, teeth gritting, white knuckle type of movie. And like I said, the emotional backstory involves a family member, I'll just say that. Um, the tone is good. The first act, it starts out fun and lighthearted. And it's got some good effects. Um, like there's a scene where she's in the car and a, getting, a, getting a ride from a local native and she's on her cell phone and you see the screen of her cell phone and her messages uh, right here in the side. Like, so so it's, I, I don't remember really seeing that in movies. Um, I'm sure it's been done maybe once or twice, but it was pretty cool. Pretty cool effects. Um, by, by the second act, the shit hits the fan. And by the third act, it gets a little emotional. It gets a lot emotional. Um, the movie has a lot of great visuals. Um, some cool surfing scenes reminds me of like going into Pac Sun and seeing the professional surfing videos. Um, it also has some Baywatch slow motion running into the ocean. Uh, and we see Blake Lively's butt a lot, a lot of butt shots. And that's awesome in and of itself. Uh, as far as cinematography goes, it's beautiful. It's shot well. Good color scheme. A lot of good colors, like the um, uh, lush green tropicalness, aquaberry blue ocean. Um, it's it's a good looking film. It it really it's just a great summer movie. The tone was intense for the most part. Uh, you're left wondering if she if if she's gonna live through this pickle she got herself into. The pacing was good. It didn't drag. There's no real boring parts to it. It was really pretty much just a quick pace movie, you know. And, um, the movie, the movie, and the, the, the score, the music and the score, it was okay. I really don't, I didn't really notice it too much, so I don't really have an opinion on that. Um, I like the end song, I Don't Want to Die. Uh, it's a pretty good song. So, I'm not going to give away spoilers, but it comes to a shocking conclusion. I did not expect the film to end the way it did, and 
however you're thinking this movie is going to end, it's not going to end the way you think it is. And that's all I want to say. It has a shocking conclusion that I did not see coming, and it was a really cool ending. Um, so, overall, it's a great summer movie. I recommend you see it. I give it a B plus. I still think Jaws is the best shark movie, but this is, this is up there. Um, so, alright folks, that about wraps up this movie review. Thanks for watching this Armageddon Media, Armageddon Records Media production. If you like this, be sure to subscribe and I'm going to keep the videos coming. So, signing off and may the force be with you.